Hey everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is just a quick introduction into rigging nodes and just how to use them to make a simple rig. If you're looking for a more detailed explanation as to what rigging nodes are, check out the video in the description. I just go into detail into how to use them, what they are, and what they're not. So first thing is to head over to the uh, Aquatic Nightmare rigging nodes release site. I've linked that in the description and I'm using 091 in this version and just download the source code.zip for this. That's gonna be the add-on that we're gonna install. And then just in Blender, you're gonna to go to your edit preferences and just go to your add-ons panel, go to install, find the location of your zip file and just install the add-on and just turn it on. Okay, so I'm gonna drag up the timeline here and I'm gonna click this drop down here for the editor window and I'm going to flip it to rigging nodes. It's a new editor window that's been added with this add-on. When you load it up, there's going to be nothing here. I'm just going to click on a new node network right away. So again, there's still nothing here. I need to create an armature. So within any node network in Blender, you can click on the add nodes here, or you can do shift A to access your list of nodes as well. I'm going to go to inputs and I'm going to create an armature. It's going to add an armature here and I can do a couple things here. I can give it a name and a collection. So the name is just going to be my rig and the collection is gonna be rig. So nothing's happening yet uh, in my scene, you know, there's nothing new. I can't really do anything, there's no buttons. I need to execute this node. So I'm gonna do shift A again, and I'm gonna to go to flow control, and I'm gonna add an execute node. And I'm just gonna plug this right into it here. This allows me to set preview of my current node network. And we're really working like left to right here. So we're always going in this direction with our calculation. So I'm just going to click set preview and now in my outliner I have a new collection called rig and I have a new armature object called my rig. Now there's nothing in here right now it's just the armature. So done right here is basically shift A in viewport and just create an armature. The only difference is I built it with nodes. So let's add a bone now. So I'm going to do shift A, I'm going to go to bone and I'm going to click add bone. Again if I set preview now I have a bone in my uh, viewport. Again, it's a very basic rig. It doesn't really have anything. It just has a bone called bone, which is Blender's default. In this node now, I can change some things. So I'm gonna add the bone name. It's gonna be called root.001, and I'm gonna put the tail at two. Now, if I click set preview, you'll notice that I've updated that rig there. So let's keep going with this uh, simple rig. I'm gonna add a bone group now. So I'm gonna do shift A, I'm gonna go to armature, I'm gonna click edit bone groups. What I can do here is actually add a bone group to my rigs. So I'm gonna click on the name. I'm just gonna call it uh, root bone. And for the color, it's going to be blue. Now, when I click set preview, again, nothing's happened, but in my armature tab under bone groups, I now have this root bone option here. So I got added with this node. If I go back to the add bone and make my preview here, I won't have that bone group. So set preview is kind of like where you're gonna calculate your nodes up to. It's a great way to troubleshoot if you're having any issues with your network. Okay, so let's add another node and it's going to be a bone and I'm gonna do set bone properties. So we're gonna do a lot in here. We're gonna basically clean up the pose bone. Uh, we're gonna fix some rotation modes and we're gonna add a shape. So with this node, I can plug in a bone here or I can choose from a list. So there's my root right there. But you know what? I'm actually just gonna plug in the bone from here. So I click here drag this across, and there's my bone name in there. So I'm gonna add an input, but before I do that, I'm on edit mode, and I wanna change this in pose mode. So I'll flip that to pose mode, and I'll click add input, and let's fix the rotation mode. So I'll start with that, and I'll click okay, and my rotation mode, I want to be X, Y, Z. Now when I do set preview, if I click on this joint, it has a rotation mode of X, Y, Z Euler. Let's add another input. Let's do bone group index. I'll click okay. And now I can choose the bone group that this actually falls into. So if I do one, it's gonna go there and zero, you notice that my color changed. This is now a part of the root bone bone group section. Let's do one more thing, let's add a shape. So I have to actually make this in 3D first. So I'm just gonna add a circle. And I'll just move it over just like I would any other shape sort of on a rig and blender. And in my graph network, I'm gonna add a input and I'm gonna do input mesh. Now from here, I can actually do a drop down. I'm gonna click on circle. I have to do one more thing in my set bone property. I'm gonna add an input and I'm gonna add a custom shape object or sorry, just custom object right here. I can click okay. And now I have this new option here called custom object and I can just plug this in. 
Now when I do set preview, I've changed the custom shape of that to be that circle. What I can do now is actually delete this circle from my scene and this one as well too. Now if I set preview, it's just gonna make that. It does remake this, but it's just something that you can hide eventually. I'm gonna add one more input here and I'm gonna add a custom shape scale. And now that I have this, I can actually put in like a dial of two and actually scale that custom shape as I go. So that's it for the first node network. Uh, kind of a really simple introduction to rigging nodes to build a really simple rig here. And now I have a root rig that I can use anywhere. So I have this really nice my rig root bone. What I can do is grab all of this and hit control G. What that does is puts the entire thing into one grouped node, a lot like a grouped material node in the material network. So I'll just extend this and I can just name this to my root. And that becomes the name of that node network going forward. I can do a couple things now. I can connect some group inputs and group outputs. So I'll connect the name and I'll connect the name of the collection here. One thing I like to do is just pass the execute into the group output. So now if I set preview, I can do a couple things. I can name this uh, second rig. And it's gonna update right here. I could name it uh, robot rig. And it's gonna update here. Now I have this really nice node network that I can use in any file. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so I have this simple asset here and I just wanna add a single root node to it in my scene. Um, I could go shift A, add an armature, flip the world space, add a shape, add a node, uh, make sure my rotation order is correct and go through that whole process. But since I have a node network now for it, what I can do instead is go to file, append, and here I've saved, saved my simple rig node and come into here and under the node tree, I have an option called my root here, which was that node tree that I added. So I'm gonna click append. I'm gonna come here to rigging nodes and I'll click new and I'll do shift A and I can add a group node. And this can just be a node group here. And then from my drop down, I have my root. It has all of my data from my other file there. So now if I just click set preview, I'm gonna get my rig. And now I can rename this to chamber and click set preview. And then I have this rig and it's got my bone group here where I've set the colors. It's got my Euler rotation set up already. And if I want to, I can just come in here and I can just increase the group shape scale. So now I have a consistent way to make my root nodes of my simple assets all the same. So now I can just grab all these pieces, shift click on it here, do control P with a bone parent. And now that's done. That rig is ready to go to a layout team where they can move this around and add it to any shots or anything like that. So it's a very consistent way to add rigs or pieces to your files. Um, it gets far more complicated than this node network right here. This is a very simple example. I'm gonna do another video where we go into more advanced examples and I'll go into some of the more benefits as to why you might wanna use this. I'll also probably talk about times where you don't wanna use this setup. Um, this isn't something you wanna use all the time. This isn't meant to replace traditional rigging. It's sort of just another tool that you can use while you're building things, kind of like geometry nodes. They're just tools that you can use to get things done. It's not a method to replace any of the workflows that you've used previously. For sure, shoot me any questions if you have them in the comments below. Um, big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video. It's because of them that I can continue to make these videos. Head on over there if you want early access, some exclusive content, and even some behind the scenes. Anyway, I will talk to you next time. Bye bye <laughs>